In this video, we're gonna take the all new Arma Titan yep. ROM. Get that one. To the skate park. All right, y'all, we are at the skate park. I'm gonna take this down there in just a minute. I just wanted to have a little fun right here first. Hopefully no cars come down there and crush me. <laughs> Yep, and I drove my, my C8 Corvette. You guys kind of see that over there. Uh, my SUV is in the shop. So luckily, this is a small car. Ain't got to worry about a lot of dirt and all that. And I can just put it in a plastic bag and put it in the front of my Corvette. So anyway, I'll do a video on that coming up pretty soon. But let's go ahead. Let's take this down to the skate park and let's have some fun. More or less. Okay. Bow. <laughs> um, bow. Cars. Bow. See what we can do? All right, y'all. Let's have a little bit of skate park action to see how this handles. I'm probably gonna have to go down there because it's so small. Oh, nice, it cleared it. I didn't know if it was gonna clear it or not. You guys know this went 21 miles per hour. <laughs> it did clear it that time I didn't get on full throttle. So anyway, with the stock included battery, I got 21 miles per hour. I don't even know if you can actually gear this thing up but I will get a castle system for it at some point in time. Or a brushless system. I may just get the one that's in the low C Mini B. This thing is jumping good, look at that. Can't say he don't jump like his big brother. Or his uh, big brother, or we'll say a uh, big sister, we'll call the big sister the 3S uh, Typhon. So it does have enough power where you can correct it in the air. You guys are seeing that as I'm jumping. It's kind of trying to nose dive forward a little bit and I can get on the throttle and kind of straighten them up. Now this is stock out the box. You could do this all day. No suspension changes or any of that. So that's actually doing good. Oh, had a flip. Probably won't be doing no backflips out here. Ain't got no power for that, but we'll definitely. Wow. <laughs> I might be able to get another mile per hour if I go down here and get it. There we go. Yeah, this could do this thing. This could do this all day. This is not bad, y'all. Not bad at all doing out here. Look at this. Oh. 
Now this will probably gain maybe another mile per hour or so in speed once this motor kind of breaks in. That wind was blowing over there. It's been real windy here in Georgia. I'm actually gonna go over here and see if we can do the big jumps. All right, you guys know how we do this. I could probably do both of these at the same time. Let's see, get that one. <laughs> now it's not gonna clear the big jump where we kind of jump on the far edge of this, but we're more or less testing how this is gonna run here and it's actually doing pretty good. Chassis slap's gonna go on, like I said, it's stock out the box. Where'd he go? Okay, stock out the box. We won't make that all the way. <laughs> He's trying. So I didn't even put the spacers, like I said, in the water, in the, um, in the shocks for it. Okay, and no body pop off yet. I keep looking behind me too. I keep hearing the, the people back there. It's not doing bad at all, guys. Look at this, it's going. Let's see if we can get a good running start and how far we'll get. Wow. <laughs> he still did it. Let's try that again. Get a good speed all the way. Let's see how far we get. Oh, he did a front flip. Nice. Let's try that again. Doing a little tricking for y'all. Don't know if I can do that again. Wow. <laughs> Almost had it. All right, we're gonna go the opposite way. I knew that was gonna happen. At least he landed on his feet though. So we know Armour probably will make a Sentin Granite, probably Big Rock. Um, wow. Ooh, nice, went right through there. Maybe an infraction. There's already a company that makes something similar to one, but um, it would be cool if they had one. Or maybe do some arm roll cars. Wow, I almost had it. And actually make them brushless. I mean, right now, their biggest competition, of course, is gonna be like the WL toy cars. Wow. <laughs> Tried to jump over that, didn't work. I actually tried to be cool and jump on that one there, but it didn't actually work out. Let's see if I can line this up. I still missed it. And then of course, as far as American made companies or American based companies would be like Traxxas and Losi. But I think the E-Revo, ah, is, I don't know. I think it's two something for the brush one. This is actually going good, Jack. Guys, it really is. I didn't think it was gonna be able to make some of these jumps. We're gonna come around here. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Not doing a lot of fetching. I thought I was gonna be flipping over and having to run down here every three or four seconds and get the vehicle, but no, we're not. Wow, right into the pole. All right. One more big jump. Try that again. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> He's doing little tricks out there. I'm not even trying to do it. So I think durability wise, you're gonna be fine if you get this for a little kid. Especially the way I'm up here hitting stuff and flipping over. It's all right. We're gonna try to get rid of the RC curse. Get that one last jump and y'all know something always happens. One last jump and nothing. 
<laughs> all right y'all so damage report on this there really isn't any other than like falling on the top of the shocks you guys see a little scrape in there um, with that and underneath the chassis just some scraping of them screws and stuff now one thing i did notice is that armor you guys see there that actually just comes back into place so that's actually a pretty good design there those two pieces you can just pull this out i can't do it one hand and then those snap back in so that actually helps um to make this a little bit more durable with it because if it was one piece that would have snapped a long time ago so so far so good so anyway guys put your comments down below like subscribe stay tuned for the next video appreciate you watching